Okay, hello everybody. I'm very inspired to bring this video to you today. This is a really important topic, very passionate about it. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about glyphosate and what we need to do, what we have to do in order to protect ourselves and our families um, from this very toxic substance. So just to give you some background, glyphosate is uh, the active ingredient in a weed killer called Roundup. For anyone who's been at Home Depot or any garden store, this is usually the most common product on the shelves as far as weed killing. So here's some reasons why it's a problem. And I'm gonna look at my notes here because I wanna make sure I cover all the important information, make this really clear for you all. And then most importantly, I'm gonna give you a few things that you can implement ASAP that's gonna help buffer the effects of this. So in 2012, uh, the US alone used 280 million pounds of this product. So again, this Roundup with the most active ingredient being glyphosate. Um, conveniently enough or ironically enough, uh, this product is made by a company called Monsanto who also brought us Agent Orange. Um, so in 2015, this, this glyphosate that's in Roundup that's sprayed all over our food, all over our grass, all over our parks, all over our schools, was classified as a probable carcinogen, meaning it most likely causes cancer. Uh, glyphosate has been found in our rainwater. It's found in 25% of the population if you check people's urine. And then really scary is it's found in uh, breast milk. And so what's really important to note with that information is that, you know, these people that were tested and the samples that were taken, uh, these populations were not, say, dusted in this product, right? They didn't like put it on their skin or purposefully ingest it. So what that information tells us is that we are all, we are all exposed to this on such high levels that is getting through to our system, uh, whether we're aware of it or not. And so I wanna make you extremely aware. And then again, like I said, I wanna give you things that you can do today to help buffer the effects, so, so important. Um, okay, so many countries have actually already banned glyphosate. Uh, there's a lot of petitions. People are begging for stores like Home Depot and places like that to stop using Roundup. Um, it kills bees, it kills bumblebees. We all know if we have no bees, we have no food. Um, and it actually has a dangerous effect on earthworms. Both species extremely important for the health of our food and our soil. The other thing that's happening right now is, let's see, what's the percentage? 89% um, of our corn and 94% of our soy is now what's called genetically modified. That's a term a lot of people are hearing about and I wanna make it clear what that means. So basically what's happening now is a lot of the corn and a lot of the soy is being genetically altered so that it can handle more Roundup sprayed on it so that it kills any of the bugs or bacteria, but it doesn't kill the crop. Uh, the reason that that's dangerous, obviously, uh, is then we're exposed to a lot of that product when we ingest any of the corn in our country, basically, or any of the soy. Uh, so any corn-based products, any soy-based products, if you are ingesting them, I, those are one of the big non-negotiables in our house. They must be organic, they must be non-GMO. Something also to consider is most of our livestock, uh, the beef that we eat, uh, chicken, anything like that, it's being fed this genetically modified, overly sprayed product as well. We essentially eat what they eat. And so that's why it's also very important when you're buying uh, meat or poultry uh, to choose organic, ideally to choose grass fed. A lot of times people will use the label vegetarian fed. That's not necessarily a good thing because it means they're fed, fed a lot of this uh, corn and soy. The other thing that's really important to note, one of my final thoughts on this, because I like to keep these videos short, is that uh, something that glyphosate does is it destroys what's called tight junctions. So a lot of people have heard of leaky gut. Leaky gut is what happens in your intestines when the tight junctions are destroyed. So if we think of the wall of our intestines as maybe like a chain lock or a zipper, um, this is the outside layer of our intestines and it prevents anything from leaking out into our body where our body would see it as a threat and start to attack it. That essentially creates an autoimmune reaction. It creates um, all the effects of leaky gut. It creates inflammation. Any uh, disease that ends in itis is technically inflammatory. So you think ulcerative colitis. Um, gastritis, things like that. Also, it creates uh, 
a higher susceptibility to food sensitivities and allergies. So the product glyphosate, when we get a lot of it in our system, it creates these holes uh, that uh, essentially our leaky gut, the food products from our intestines seep out and our body starts to attack them. Uh, when we get a lot of these uh, tight junction openings, a lot of the products seep out of our intestines. Our body creates this over aggressive uh, attack and then what happens is, you know, instead of attacking, say, gluten or chicken or these things coming out of our body, our body actually starts to attack its own tissue, which essentially uh, can turn into an autoimmune condition. So very, very important, right? So we want to keep those junctions nice and tight. Um, I'm happy to share way more info on that, but I really want to get to what I like to talk about, and that's what to do about it. Okay, so obviously for starters, buy organic whenever you can, especially uh, for the dirty dozen foods. And you can look up, if you just type in dirty dozen, those are the 12 most important foods to buy organic. They essentially have a very thin layer between uh, the fruit or the product and the outside environment. So for instance, like a strawberry, very important to buy organic. If a strawberry is sprayed, it goes right into the part that you're eating. Avocado, not as important, has a nice thick skin. Ideally, I would also buy organic avocado, but not the most important to get, especially if you're traveling, uh, just makes things easier. The other thing to think about, so um, we love to let our kids run around barefoot um, outside in the soil. Uh, I'm very passionate about feeding our kids healthy, good bacteria. We live in an over-sterilized world and um, exposing kids to these different micro, uh, these different ways to feed their microbiome essentially makes really healthy kids. But if uh, grasses are sprayed with pesticides, with Roundup, uh, you know, you literally get that sign in your yard once it's sprayed, do not let kids or dogs on this property. I think it's usually for about 24 hours. Well, it's not like that product magic magically disappears. It's still in the soil. Um, and then it cycles back into anything that grows in that soil. And then again, into our rainwater. So we're very passionate about not using any herbicides on our grass. We embrace the dandelions, the weeds, it's okay. And I definitely do not let our kids go barefoot in any uh, outdoor area that if I'm not sure if it's been sprayed. So it's kind of a bummer, uh, but really important. Okay, so buy organic, watch for that non-GMO label, because again, if something is genetically modified, it can get sprayed with that glyphosate all over it, and it's not going to kill the product. Corn, soy in particular, definitely watch for non-GMO. It's not so hard to find anymore. And then lastly, a product, I often share products that I love, my funky nails. Um, there's something called Restore, literally helps restore the junctions. So I think of this as... Uh, Kind of like our insurance. We eat very clean in our family. Uh, like anyone, we can always do better. We can always do worse. I give this to our kids almost daily and I take it almost daily just as insurance and to help buffer any glyphosate or any of those toxins that we're getting into our bodies. Um, Dr. Zach Bush, the person that made this product, has a ton of amazing videos on it. I can even, uh, I'll put those in the description of this video. Uh, so that you guys have easy access. It essentially, it tastes like water. Um, they also make an amazing nasal spray. It's the exact same product. It's just in a different carrier. It's a nasal carrier that helps restore uh, junctions that are very important for our blood brain barrier. So that's somewhat of a whole other topic, but you can basically take it orally or you can spray it up your nose or you can do either one. Uh, it's essentially dirt water. It's minerals and water. Um, and it just helps restore those, those junctions. The other thing that's really good to do is to feed your gut really good uh, gut building products. Uh, you know, you can take probiotics. Uh, we're a fan of them. We have them in our office. However, I do think that the best source of probiotics is through our food. So raw sauerkraut, um, kimchi, uh, so many things, kefirs. Uh, basically, you can just search prebiotic and probiotic foods and that's going to be the best and you're going to want to rotate them because we don't want to just constantly expose our body to the same kind of bacteria. Um, okay, so that's the main info on glyphosate. I hope that cleared up any confusion. I know a lot of people are seeing uh, in the news, there's been a lot of trials based around Monsanto. There's been a lot of uh, families that have won very large 
lawsuits against them. It's been known to cause non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, and so it's, it's definitely popped up in the news and I just wanted to clear some information up about it. And then again, help everybody understand why, especially at this day and age, non-GMO and buying organic is just so, so, so important. Uh, you know, we rely on getting information about what we need to be feeding our families. Uh, a lot of the information that we get comes from the companies that actually uh, support and endorse the products that they're talking about. And so you just always have to be willing to do your own research and come up with your own information in order to keep your family the healthiest you can. So please comment below. I know this was a lot of information. I'm happy to uh, send more, share more info uh, and answer any questions you have. So thanks guys.